Praise the Lord. I am so happy and excited to be able to greet you on this Wednesday evening. I am so excited about what God has been doing for LifePoint Church and each one of us individually. We are in the miraculous favor of God. I just love the messages that we have been hearing over the last couple of weeks and Brother Gillis's message this Sunday and the devotionals that we've heard this week. And one of the things that I have felt was a common theme and even something that I have been dealing with in my own private devotional time is the faith. Faith over feelings was such a dynamic message this week. And I believe that we need to have such a great understanding of faith. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. As we were heard this weekend, every man is given a measure of faith. Having faith in living in a miracle does not mean it's easy. Sometimes we get confused and we think because it's a miracle, it's easy. It's going to be something that we just are, don't even have to work for. But you know what? When the Israelites went through the Red Sea, it was a miracle, but it wasn't easy. They still had to march. They were still inconvenienced. They still had to face uncertainty, but it was a miracle deliverance for them. When David faced Goliath and fought him, he won a miraculous victory, but that didn't make it easy as he ran against the face of the enemy and all the adversity that was being shouted at him in the insults. We have faced some trials these last few weeks in the middle of the miraculous favor of God, but I still believe, I still believe that God's hand and favor rests upon us. Sometimes, I don't know if you have been like me, but we have questioned the timeline and God working out the situation in the way that we thought that he should. What is happening? We feel so uncomfortable. We feel so um, just out of sorts and we feel so uneasy. And so we just feel like what is happening? And we want to start questioning God and say, do you really know what you were doing? Because I had faith. I prayed. I believed. And so when the situation isn't coming out the way that I envisioned it to happen, sometimes we want to question God question our faith and we're left with an understanding that's leaving us confused but can I tell you today don't doubt don't walk out on God's plan he knows just what he is doing we cannot doubt God we cannot begin to complain in the middle of a miracle we see where that got the Israelites when they believed possibly you know when you think about it they had prayed for years 400 years as a matter of fact for deliverance and when it came with them having to rush out in the middle of the night when it came with them having to face a Red Sea when it came with all these plagues I wondered if they thought this isn't what we prayed for God? Are you really sure this is you? Are you really sure this is what is happening to us? Is you or is this just something that just happened? And they began to complain because it wasn't easy. And what did that get them that got them wandering around in the wilderness for 40 years? God knows what he is doing. And just because it's not happening the way that I want it to happen, I cannot begin to doubt God. Instead, I have to take that step of faith as he leads me each time and say, I don't want to miss the blessing and favor of God because it is coming differently than my years of prayers has envisioned. Instead, I'm going to embrace the plan that God has. I'm going to trust his hand and believe he knows what he is doing. In the face of my circumstances that look different than my prayers, I still believe.
What do we do when we have faith, but the outcome is different? Mar Mary and Martha had faith that Jesus was going to heal their brother Lazarus. But Lazarus died. So what did they do with that faith? <laughs> they met Jesus. And I can almost hear that frustration as they said, if you had only been here, our faith had said, we believed that you were going to heal Lazarus, but instead he died. This isn't what the miracle looks like. This isn't what we imagined you doing. Instead, Lazarus died and is in the grave. But Jesus went and he spoke. Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came out of that grave with a greater miracle than just a healing. When he died on the cross of Calvary, all the disciples were confused because this was not the reality that they had envisioned. Jesus was a savior. What was he doing dying on the cross? But you see, Jesus saw more than just that moment. You see, God is bigger and greater than just this moment that we are living. God is bigger and can see further than we can ever see. And when Jesus died on that cross of Calvary, it looked like total defeat to the disciples. But you see, for us, it meant victory. Thousands and thousands of years later, that defeat, or so they thought, turned into a victory, but God saw it. They didn't at that moment. They had to trust that God knew what he was doing. When I am faced with situations that I don't understand, when I feel like I have had faith and everything isn't living up to the expectations of my prayers, I have to remember and I have to hold on to God sees more than just this moment. God is bigger than right now, just right now. God sees my future. God sees what he has planned. God knows my tomorrow and he knows what he is doing. And so when I am praying and I prayed and I'm sure you have prayed and maybe you're praying for something right now and it just doesn't seem to make sense. When I prayed, God heal me from cancer. And I knew I just prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I had the faith. I thought and believed that God was going to heal me of cancer. I watched and heard of him healing others. And I thought, oh God, you're going to do it for me. What a miracle it's going to be when you heal me. And instead I had to go through the chemo what is that? Did God fail? Did God let me down? Did God not win a battle? No, that was God saying, I'm going to do something greater. And I may never get the answer here, but God is always able and still able to bring victory when we don't understand. When I don't understand this moment, when I don't understand why God hasn't answered the way that I thought he should, I need to hold on to the fact that God has a plan. I still need to be able to say, God, I trust you. God, increase my faith. Help my unbelief as the man prayed. So God, help me when I just don't seem to understand what's going on. I don't want to lose my faith in the middle of what God is doing. Think about it. Joseph was given a promise by God in dreams, and he was found himself in the pit. Then he found himself in slavery. He found himself in the prison. He found himself alone and afraid in darkness, in that pit all alone. What did he do? Did he lose his integrity? Did he turn his back on God? Did he yell and scream at him and say, I'm not living for you anymore, God, because you're not doing what I know you told me you were going to do in the dreams that you gave me? No, he held on. He kept his integrity and he was brought out of that prison up into second in the land only because he trusted God 
had a plan. In the middle of your chaos, confusion, hurt, brokenness, in the middle of your problem not working out the way that you thought it should, please don't give up on God. Please don't turn your back on him, but instead hold on because God is bigger than just this moment. He is greater than what we see and what we see may look so different than what we imagined. We love to quote the scripture. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. And we use that to continue to pray for our way. But when it's not our way that God answers, we've got to remember he is still able <laughs> to do exceedingly abundantly. He is still able to do more than I could imagine. He's able to take the little miracle that I'm praying for and turn it into something greater. I may not ever know here what he has planned, but I know that God has a purpose. He has streets of gold for me in my future if I continue to hold on to his hand. He knows what he's doing. Can I encourage you tonight, in this moment, recognize God is greater. When you look back over your life and you see questions, maybe you've had them, I've had them, I've had them stir up in my own mind this week. And I begin to say, God, I don't understand. Why did you let this happen? Why did you let that happen? God, I just don't understand. I say, God, you're bigger than this moment. God, you know what you're doing. God, I'm not going to let go of your hand, but instead I'm going to hold tighter. You know, when you don't know where you're going, did you ever just grab hold of the person right with you and just hold on for all you're worth because it's confusing? Well, you know what? At this moment, I'm holding on to God's hand because he knows what he's doing. I'm not going to let go, but I'm going to say, God, my faith and my confidence is still in you. I pray tonight that God increases your faith, that you hold on to him tighter than ever before and trust he's greater than this moment. He's greater than that moment in your life where there's confusion. He's greater. He's got a plan. Hold to his hand. God bless you tonight.